Hi, I'm Sherry from Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer blog. I thought I would show you the math program we have switched to. Now, originally, we were using Saxon, and for my first two children, it worked great for them. And frankly, for me, too, I just happened to like the way it's laid out. Just show me what to do, and I'll do it. But then when I came to student number three, it just wasn't working for her. It was a real struggle to get her through algebra. And now with this final student, I'm finding the same thing. The Saxon just is not working as well as I had hoped. So I decided to go ahead in January and start him in the Life of Fred, which I had purchased for my daughter back in the day. And at the time, he had the beginning algebra book, and then he came out with the home companion. I believe now they are put together and just one book. So, all right, so that's what you look for. Okay, so what is this life of Fred about? Well, it's about this flat-headed, one-dimensional six-year-old who teaches at the Kittens University. It is a story type of way of teaching math. In some respects, I find that it does bring the concept into a whole new realm of understanding, and you get it. And in other times, I feel like maybe something's missing, and I personally feel... For me and for some of my kids that we need to just give me how you do it and let's just do it and be done. So I don't know. The jury is still out on this. Um, he's doing okay with it. We've been calling it frustrating Fred. And that usually happens because when you switch different um, math programs or any other program, things are taught at different times in that series. And so some of the things that he's talking about you know, we hadn't covered yet in that Saxon pre-algebra, or we just aren't like, what? What is he talking about? I probably should have gotten the pre-algebra for him, but then that's a whole nother pile of dough, and I didn't really think it was going to help that much, and the fact that I'm starting to run out of time, and I want to get this kid through algebra. So we're still pushing our way through. One of the problems I have with the books by this particular math teacher is that, I mean, sure, it has cute little pictures and explains things, but all of a sudden you'll start getting different changes of fonts. And when you have um, reading issues such as dyslexia or when you have math issues, all of this could be considered clutter and it's overwhelming and distracts the student from what they're needing to learn. So this may not be a good way for some children and even, frankly, when I'm going through this, I have to, like, get down and squint practically on some of the fonts because they're just hard to read. So uh, if the author here, um, Mr. Stanley Schmidt, is watching, please, I know what you're trying to do with the different fonts, but please clean them up for those of us who have difficulties with them because it, it does make it very hard to read. And then you get frustrated. But that said... We're still learning, and we're going to keep pushing our way through the Life of Fred series. And alongside now, I've decided to go ahead and give the Key 2 series a try. Hannah over at Pepper and Pine had talked about this is what she uses for her kids for math. And I did use this, um, gosh, several years ago for one of my kids. I think it was an elementary level math. And it just didn't float their boat. They just struggled with it. So that's why we got into Saxon. And it worked great for them. Well, I'm thinking with the way I know he learns, these might be very helpful. And the fact is they will kind of fill in any gaps that we're getting with Fred. So the Key 2 series has 10 booklets. I only purchased the first four and the answer key to see if this is something that will work for him. If we're finding it does, I'll just get books uh, 5 through 10 and the other keys and call it a day. You can also purchase a test booklet, but that's like 22 bucks. And for me, we usually do not go past a certain point until I know the student has a good grasp of that concept. So I'll either just come up with my own test or just continue forward. Uh, that's a whole nother video. Anyway, I will let you know how he does with this. It'll be a while before we'll come back and update. The first couple ones I know he has a pretty good grasp of, but I didn't want to miss anything this time, so I thought, you know what, we're just going to do it start to finish. It's all laid out. He can pretty much do this on his own, and if there's something he's struggling with, I can look in here, and if I have the answers in front of me, I can explain it. So that's why I have that. 
these were, what were they? Five something a piece, and this was like eight something. I got these through Rainbow Resource, which was, I was finding the best price. I believe way back when, I also got Life of Fred through them as well. You're going to have to look for the more updated version of this. I know you can buy these, use the two together. There's also a zillions of practice for these levels, which probably would have helped, and it was getting close to about the same amount uh, price-wise as this, but I thought, you know what? There's still something missing, and so hopefully this will fill in the gaps, and he'll get it, and if he really likes this, I really hope this works, then we'll get him the rest, and I'll be able to give him a full grade in algebra. So there you have it, folks. When things don't work, you can make changes, although especially with math, be aware that there are going to be some gaps because every program does it a little different and you may have to, like I'm doing, piggyback some things or start way lower and then work your way through it as quickly as you can and come up to the level the child's at. So there you have our math struggle. Um, not fun, but you know what? Hopefully this, like I said, will work and we can give you a positive update down the road. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. I will go ahead and link these two where I found them on Rainbow Resource in the description box. And until next time, folks, thanks for watching.